Hi guys, welcome back to Skin at Heart, the energy in you. My name is Natalia and in this video we're going to talk about spirit animal. What is a spirit animal? How can it assist you? And how can you find your spirit animal? So, spirit animal is something that is used in shamanism, any type of shamanism, uh, any geographical location. It may have different names uh, in different um, in different geographical areas and it may have uh, slightly different characteristics uh, but uh, generally speaking uh, it's an animal um, that uh, is connected with, sh with shamanism and that can empower you and your path so you can you can tap into the energy and the characteristics of the, these animals um, to help you uh, throughout your life so you have three type I, I i generally use the north american shamanism so uh, uh, you have three types of uh, animals you have the spirit animal the totem and the shadow totem so the spirit animal is the animal whose characteristics are closer to your soul so uh, it's the animal whose vibration whose characteristics are uh, uh, in accordance with the vibration of your essence of your soul it's generally only one animal although it is possible that it's more than one and it is possible that it may vary throughout your life but commonly it is only one and it's the same uh, throughout your life so uh, the spirit animal uh, generally speaking it's the one that it's your essence and it's the one that if you would shape shift into an animal that would be the one you would shape shift into then the totems are several. You can have several totems. You can have more than one at once and you have several throughout your life. And those are uh, spirit. Uh, they are sort of like spirit guides. They are animals that are supporting you in the specific moment that you are living or facing. And you can also tap into the energy of these animals to support you, to, to, to help you throughout your life. Generally, you, you, you can, um, the way you identify a totem is, uh, it, it is an animal that sh often shows up in your experience, for example, like in the same week or in the same month, you, you, you meet this animal several times. Uh, it may also be your favorite animal. Some people have like favorite animals, especially when, when they are children. And that's often totems. It indicates that that animal is one of their totems. Uh, and it's animals that you can, uh, that you really enjoy, enjoy, that you really like, that you really admire, or that you identify in some way in your life experience, or that uh, recurrently appear, and that may uh, help you with their characteristics. Uh, for example, let's say that you are, um, you are in a situation where you need to, um, to blend in then you would want to, to tap into the energy of uh, uh, a chameleon, for example, so that you would better blend in with the environment around you. Or let's say that you need to adapt, uh, but you also need to be very smart. Then you can, you can tap into the energy of the fox, for example, that it's great at camouflage as well. Uh, but it's often known as the trickster in stories. So because it is smart and it, it is also, uh, it uses the sense of humor, to adapt to people and circumstances or even to trick them. So then you, you, you might want to call on, on the energy of the fox. So it depends, depending on what you're living in life, uh, you may want to, to tap into the, the energy of different animals. Let's say you are connecting with your ancestors, you may tap into the energy of the elephant, for example, or even the whale, depending on, um, on the lineage and on, and on other characteristics that you may be looking into. But the better you know the, the animals, their nature, their, their main characteristics, the more you can tap into their power and use them in your daily life to support your current experience. And then the shadow totem. The shadow totem, it's the animal's characteristics you most rejected about yourself or you're not aware, especially uh, when you haven't started uh, uh, self-awareness work yet. Uh, those aspects of yourself may be very much on your subconscious, uh, but the shadow totem basically represents aspects of yourself that you don't want to own or you didn't want to own or uh, uh, that you somehow rejected and, and you couldn't see for a long time. Typically, a shadow totem is an animal that we don't like 
it's an animal that we fear, that we may have phobia to, or it's an animal that we feel a huge repulse towards. Uh, it may also be an animal that appeared to us recurrently in nightmares, uh, and that it's, it's easier to identify. Actually, from the three types, it may be the easiest one, depending on the on how much the person uh, uh, re rejects this uh, the energy of this animal. It may be the easiest one to identify. Uh, so um, yeah, the shadow totem is also useful to to know and understand. It's generally only one throughout your life, just like the spirit animal. But it's useful because once you understand the characteristics of this animal, you are better able to handle with your own shadows and to understand yourself better. And the way for you to find out who, who, what is your spirit animal is to, um, to do a guided meditation. Uh, you have several guided meditations available. You may do them with a shaman. You have a, a guided meditation to find out what is your spirit animal available in Skin at Heart. So www.skinatheart.com And you can, uh, you can tap into the energy of any of these th three types of animals to empower yourself and to help you uh, move forward in life or face specific challenges uh, that are that you are confronted with throughout your path. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, do a like, subscribe to the channel. If you wish to know more about this and other topics, if you wish to to have more content uh, on. Um, if you wish to have more content, you can visit my Patreon page, patreon.com slash Natalia Costa, and you will get a lot of information on this and other uh, related topics as well. So thank you for watching and up until my next video, be happy.